I'm Chef Ellie and welcome back to my kitchen at home. Today I'm going to be making some homemade granola. Now I love granola, but I know how what goes into making it. And if I'm in a supermarket and I walk past it on the shelf, I really, really want it. But I know there's so much oil and there's so much sugar that I just move on and find a healthy alternative. So today I'm going to show you a nice, wholesome, healthy granola that you can make at home. So let's go through the ingredients firstly. I've got some rolled oats that I'm going to be using. These are raw mixed tree nuts. We've got our sesame seeds and our linseeds, seeds, sunflower seeds, some sliced Turkish apricots, coconut oil. And you can see this is this is literally maybe four tablespoons of oil for this entire recipe and that's really a little organic honey about two tablespoons and cinnamon love cinnamon okay so i'm going to go through the ingredients and it's going to be really quick 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 recipe so i'm going to show you how easy this all is firstly I'm going to add my nuts, my sesame seeds. Okay, we've got our linseed here, also known as flax seeds. The Turkish apricots. Now, the Turkish apricots and my freeze dried coconut, I'm going to add to the end. So, I'm going to add my cinnamon, some honey, fine horse honey. Use blue gum or orange blossom if you prefer, and then my coconut oil. Now, that's a very little amount of oil if you take into consideration how much you're getting out of this mixture. And I'm going to give this a stir and I'm going to add my oats, and I'm going to add one more ingredient. A little bit of low fat milk and I'm pouring it in and I'm going to leave this to stand for a good 10 minutes. So this is going to get roasted at 180 degrees anything from 20 to 40 minutes depends how golden you want your oats and um, if you want it quite dark if you want it quite light. Um, I prefer mine rather light. I like mine actually slightly toasted um, so I still get all the natural goodness out of the recipe. Here is the batch that I made this morning. Check out this coconut flakes. Look at beautiful coconut flakes. You've got your Turkish apricots. You can see my nuts are toasted, but they're not overly colored. Just nice and golden. You can see the little clusters coming together. And now I'm going to present it to you and show you how to plate it. All right, so I'm going to start with a little bit of the granola. Pop it into the glass. And I'm going to be layering it for yogurt. So I'm going to pour some inside. More yogurt on top. And I've got some raspberries here. I've got some ruby pearls or pomegranate rubies. I'm going to pop those in and a little bit more of the yogurt. And then I'm going to decorate with some lovely more of the berries. This time I'm going to add some figs. I'm going to add the coconut chunks. And then we're ready to go. Stunning, gorgeous breakfast. You feel spoiled. Now there's one more thing I'd like to show you. I'm going to make some granola date balls. So I've got some dates over here and I'm just going to pop these inside and I'm going to add some granola as well. Okay, this is about a cup of dates 
and a cup of granola. And I'm going to give it a good blend. Okay, so I remove the date and granola mix from my food processor. And this is what it looks like. It's still rather chunky, the granola. I haven't made it nice and smooth. I want it to be, you know, rough. And it's wet, it's pliable. It's almost like wet sand. So I'm going to roll into balls. And if you'd like, you can roll these into desiccated coconut or ground almonds. I saw um, ground pistachio nuts. That would also look stunning. Can you imagine the green and the white and the, the brown all popping out? And here we go. We've got two breakfast options. This one on a nice relaxed early morning and this is more for breakfast on the run. Enjoy!